to me, the best comics are the one that are the ones that tell jokes. They're so deep, so raw, so real that they uncover a truth all around you that you had no idea even existed. I am not that kind of comedian. <laughs> I'm really into bird watching. <laughs> So I bought some bird seed a while back, and I planted it. <laughs> and now there's a canary tree growing in the front of it. If you are a dedicated, professional dancer, every morning you get up so you can get down. <laughs> Did you know that you can rearrange the letters in the word gullible to spell Holy shit, you're stupid. <laughs> Try it out. Uh, I, once met a, I once met a woman who was very tall. She was over six and a half feet tall. And she told me that uh, her height makes it very difficult for her to find men. And I said, shouldn't it make it easier? Because <laughs> well, there he is. Uh, <laughs> and an oven have in common. <laughs> they are both a hot box that you can put things in. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't usually like to brag, but tonight, after the show, I'm having a threesome. <laughs> and I only need Two more people. <laughs> uh, did you guys hear that they're making a sequel to Brokeback Mountain? Uh, instead of two dudes falling in love, it's uh, the opposite. It's two chicks falling in love. They're calling it Fixed Front Valley. <laughs> uh, you guys hear uh, the other movie that's coming out? It's, it's about uh, the, all the aborted fetuses turn into zombies and they start attacking people. It's called the unborn undead. <laughs> I, I didn't name it, I didn't name it. Uh, so I, I uh, read an autobiography the other day and man, I had no idea a car's life could be so interesting. <laughs> pocket and I threw them in the washing machine and then when I pulled them out I got arrested for money laundering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys know uh, oh what did what did the frat brother say to the cannibal? I don't know what. Don't taste me bro <laughs> for those of you who haven't seen the video he got tasted. <laughs> Uh, so, some people say that puns are the highest form of comedy, and I wholeheartedly agree, but sometimes I think that I take puns a little too far. Um, I, had a, I had a friend who was very sad because her grandfather had just died in a tragic accident. He, he built a ramp. Uh, to jump over the Grand Canyon in his hover round. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make it. Uh, and it was very sad, so my friends were excited. I thought, what better way to cheer her up than tell her some puns? Uh, so I said to her, I said, why should you always trade a dollar bill for five quarters? She said, why? I said, it just makes sense. <laughs> and uh, she did not find that funny. <laughs> so I told her another pun. I said to her, uh, what do you call a marine mammal who thinks very highly of you? She said, what? I said, a seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> She also did not find that funny. <laughs> so I told her those two puns. And then I told her eight more puns. <laughs> and none of them made her laugh. 
In fact, no pun in ten did. <laughs> That was insane. <laughs> that fucked with my head.